How do internet and welcome back to the Artisan Binks YouTube channel. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Normally, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll have seen a lot of geosketching. We're going to try something a little bit different here. And what I've found is a website. This website is called This Person Does Not Exist. So this image of a person here, just to my side, doesn't exist. It is generated through um, artificial intelligence using lots of wonderful mathematical algorithms to smash together lots of different people's faces. So every time that you refresh the page, a new person generate is generated. And these people don't exist. It's uncanny how much they look like they should exist. But they do not. You get all sorts of different people popping up. And I thought this could be an interesting point of reference to make some art. So what I'm going to do I'm going to check that we're recording, and we are, and I'm going to refresh this page, and then we're going to do a little drawing. So, let's get our page refreshed. This person here. And then what I'm going to do, and anyone that knows me knows that I like a challenge. So I'm going to check first to see if I make this lower, lower opacity. Will it double up when I cross? It doesn't double up when I cross. So we're going to make it full on. We're going to make it 0.5 because that's quite small and nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a single line drawing. And we're going to do a few different models that don't exist. And so let's see what we end up with here. It's always interesting to uh, go completely one line drawing. So the challenge here, of course, being that you're not allowed to... Um, lift your pen off the page and i normally play the rule of if i do lift my pen off the page during a long line, one line drawing it is done it is finished a whole series of art that i produced years ago now uh, it was called one line one page which played off this idea of drawing just one line just one line was all i was allowed to make a piece of art and it was quite a successful little project that was really fun to make and so we're going to have another go. So we're just sort of looking at these shapes. Uh, we might do alright at some of these. And the others we may not. So I can't actually see where things go here. But I can see that this area here is dark. So we can push down a little bit more. Get a little bit of that pen pressure in. Fill this area in nice and dark. Um, and we can kind of cut the image off there probably. And the chin's coming across, and the chin's coming across. We're a little bit further down than that. So it's kind of part using the reference, and part sculpting sculpting the line. So we can come back on ourselves, and we can we can work back over areas. So it's, it's often good to, uh, if you're having a go yourself, which if you are doing, I'd love to see the results of what, uh, what you clever people out there can come up with. Uh, you can do that by joining my discord server or just posting it at me on any of the social medias that you should be able to find me on we've got to the chin here and then some lips but it's interesting that these people don't as i said earlier don't exist so you can't offend anyone by getting their, their, their likeness wrong which is always handy when you're doing a little bit of portrait practicing but it is just weird just how good technology is getting at emulating the human face. I know that these are just kind of, but I believe that these are more um, smashed together. Um, so using the same line to go in that we came out, always a good one line drawing trick. And then we've got an ear coming around here. This ear has got a stud in it. And then that ear is coming up and into the hair here. Hair's coming up here, up here, up here, and then we've got this hair coming down. Let's try and get the outside line of this hair in place. So all still just one continuous line. And remember, folks, if you are having a go, you don't need to particularly enjoy the piece of art that you've made. The act of making it is and practicing. So we're going to add ourselves. Up. So we can't see this on the image. It's kind of it leaves it leaves this off here, but we can add a little bit of our own artistic flair um, 
perhaps we could come and add a little necklace of some kind. And, ooh, that was my line finished. So, we would have added a nose and a couple of eyes. But our line is done. Let's move on. If people want to see me go back and finish these images, let me know in the comments which ones you'd like to see finished. Ooh, another female study here. I'm going to try making my brush a little bit bigger. And let's even try sticking it over onto something a bit different. Maybe a jagged brush. Ooh, so this has got... the Right, okay, so this has got a little bit of nice weight to it. Let's try this then. So. You can kind of really ease off on the pressure. Which might pay off with this kind of curly hair that we've got going on here. The little ear that's coming in just here. How are we going to get that in? Are we going to have to darken around the ear to... Maybe. The face is coming down. So it may look like I'm breaking the line in some points here. But I swear... I am not. It just can get very light and very thin. And if you zoom in, you'll be able to see that it's still there. So we've got a chin. We've got a big smile. We've got a nose. I'm going to try and get in more of the information in first. Then we can come back and work on details. Eyes coming around here. Eyebrows coming up and round here. Ooh. I'm not sure I'm liking the, the line choice that I took there to bring it down. It's kind of giving this person that doesn't exist a little bit of a, uh, a unibrow situation going on. And But we can make it work. We can, we can work on this. So we've got nose coming here. Let's come back down and add in just a little hint of some teeth coming along there. And I see clenched teeth. I've got open teeth. But, you know, again, we're working with what we've got and kind of taking the uh, the reference a bit at a time. This is this is uh, turning into a slightly more terrifying version of the model that we have here. But we are going to keep going, folks. Oh, that was my line finished. So again, we would have had time to put in some hair from around the top. But alas, by the rules I have dictated to myself, God, that is a terrifying. The first one went a lot better. I am not liking that new brush. But this is what you get for trying out completely new formats without having any practice. Very little bit of practice, just to see how well the system works. But we are still recording, and that is okay. Uh, let's have a pencil line. No, I don't like the pencil line. I like the ink line. The ink line was nice, and we had it down around about this point, didn't we? Okay. Let's take a little bit of a further distance view of this person. Maybe we have a look at our reference first. So we've kind of got a big sort of domed haircut, all flaring out from one point. So we're going to start from that point, and we're going to add in this kind of flaring out, and then we can come across. This is quite nice because we kind of got that sort of quite defined um, hairstyle going on which kind of gives us a nice framework then to add in an ear coming out this way that's coming out this way and then we've got a chin coming down chin coming back up maybe we try and go a little bit longer lines so yeah, it's just kind of having a play here, really, as much as anything else. Um, but I just found this, I found it fascinating that you can just call up at will a reference who has never before existed. Um, unless, of course, these are all just pictures of people, perhaps. There's, perhaps you're seeing someone here and thinking, that's a spitting image of, of my friend. And, and if it is, let me know in the chat, but... According to the uh, information, you can see in, on the bottom here, we've got a generative adversarial network. Oh, what happened to my line? <gasps> my line. Can I undo? No. Well, don't hold your tablet 
pen down too long there, folks. I think, I think we can allow ourselves another go. Would you say we can? Well, I'm gonna. So, let's jump back in and have another go. We should, in theory. Oh, why is the opacity right now? Oh, well, we started our line. We're gonna have to work with it. But that's part of the fun, isn't it? Part of the fun is working with a little bit of limitation and just seeing what we can do. Seeing where we can end up and seeing how we can get on. This also shows you as well, for, cl for certain if I was to uh, lift my pen off the line because the lines going over it would obviously be darker than they should be. So chin coming down. I was really happy with how that last, what, last one was going. But all we've got to do is repeat a similar process and maybe we'll get somewhere just as sort of as nice as we had last time so this hair is kind of coming round this way this hair doesn't feel right on this side and then we can start adding a little bit of a hint of a neck this coming round so i can't stop moving the pen as that went to a whole different tool Something I've never seen happen before. But now I know it happens. We're going to keep this pen moving at all costs. And we got a nose here. This nose is coming down this way, like this. Quite a pointed nose. Hard to get across. Eyebrow coming across this way. Eyebrow coming across this way. Uh, an eye here, looking directly into the camera. I've noticed that about a lot of these generated images. They tend to be staring directly at the camera. Um, I'm presuming it's some kind of artificial intelligence pickup. <gasps> you can see that I've gone down to a second line because I was drawing a line and hit space bar. There we go. But we have a very brief portrait there. And we're going to put the opacity back up. We're going to come into this quadrant here. If my zooming will allow me. And then we're going to do one more. Ooh, a very delightful little bit of jewellery or something there in the hair. So, we've got wispy hair on this side. Wispy hair, wispy hair. Got a parting in the middle here. And then this band with bits on. Coming across. And behind this ear here, I believe. And then this hair is coming back. So we can kind of add that line in to give us a rough idea. And then maybe we can come back and just add in extra little hints here and there of these curls coming back I feel like we need to really get some darkness down this side around this ear just to make it pop out so on this ear is actually lower isn't it so let's do that let's bring the ear does that look right well, we've kind of got to commit to something here. Um, so I'm going to sort of looking at the negative space that we've got available to us. I'm going to make this the ear. And then we can bring this jawline round. Bring the chin down a little bit more. There we go. That's starting to look nice big. Nice big smile. Lips need to form around this smile. Is it the best pair of lips I've ever drawn? No. Is it the worst? Also no. So I'm going to take that as a little victory. And then we're going to... Oh, my line. Ah, No face for you. Okay. Drawing single line drawings. Digitally. A lot more difficult than I thought it would be. First one came out was coming out great. And then the facial element was missed off. But 
We shall endeavour. I'm going to definitely have another go at this. I hope you enjoyed this brief video of some online drawings. I'd be intrigued to see if you want to give it, your, give it a go yourself. I find it easier to do online drawings with a traditional medium. Um, but have a go. You might surprise yourself. And I'll see you next time on the Artisan Binks YouTube channel. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.